Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Tony Dye, MD of Epicam, here to tell you about Epicare, a new kind of, high, of, of compact, high-performance rotary engine so that you can take away a whole new perspective on power generation. Epicare converts the pressure energy released from liquid air warmed to shaft power at high rotational speeds, up to 30,000 revs per minute, with up to six power cycles per revolution. My engineering consultant, who's quite good at maths, commented that 180,000 power cycles per minute is one mighty midget. Epicare has the potential to liberate the transport and distributed power generation industries from their dependence on fossil carbon fuels. It will do so without loss of performance, with emissions of clean, cool air only, and at a price attractively affordable to all end users. Epicam proposes to tackle the static power sector first, to provide energy to both distributed power systems and to drive industrial machines, such as mining machinery, where the byproduct of cold, clean, breathable air can, mit can alleviate the, the hot working conditions found in deep level mines. <coughs> the Epicare engine is entirely scalable and widely applicable. It can be integrated in all sectors of the transport industry. The expander rotors of the engine can also be used in conjunction with Epicam's compressor and a heat exchanger to manufacture liquid air. This produces a virtuous energy cycle with no carbon footprint. To summarize, atmospheric air cooled to liquid, used in the engine to produce power, returned to the atmosphere. Why hasn't it been done before? The main barrier was the absence of any engine technology with two essential characteristics. Firstly, friction-free displacement action, and secondly, variable geometry to provide a wide range of displacement with high expansion ratios. These are the main characteristics of Epicam's paired rotary system, which make it extremely suitable for Epicare, and that's what makes it all possible. The Epicam team has won a Shell Springboard Award for this technology, and the team includes three world-class engineering consultants, a business management specialist at, with experience in the UK motor industry, and we have an opportunity for a senior figure from commerce or industry to take a leading role in the business. We also have a vacancy for a finance director. Whilst recruiting for these two roles, I'm also looking for funding of five million pounds over two years to drive the first phase of the program. In phase one, prototypes will be tested and demonstrated in applications including mining machines, power generation, a small, small car, and a high-speed vehicle. These demonstrations will secure initial licenses with OEMs which are expected to exceed 15 million pounds. This will provide the foundation for phase two, the establishment of manufacturing facilities in the UK, enabling us to begin to supply engines to OEMs. 
We will also demonstrate HGV truck applications and build sales revenues to around 250 million a year within three years. In phase three, we will be in a position to address world markets in all fields of application. Thank you all for listening.